A grieving Bridgeport family calling for justice tonight after their loved one is found shot to death in the back of an SUV in New York City. Frank Recchia with the exclusive story. And my heart dropped and I just feel for my family right now. I really do feel for my family going through this right now. A grief-stricken family coming together on the east side of Bridgeport just hours after getting the worst possible news, that their loved one, 48-year-old Myron Dukes of Bridgeport, a proud dad who was born in the P.T. Barnum community but was raised here on the east side, had been found shot in the head in the backseat of a Range Rover that crashed into another vehicle in Queens around 4.15 Wednesday afternoon. My heart dropped because he did too much to be taken out like that. That's not, he had so much more fight left than him. President Kennedy was assassinated. Dukes met with Senator Richard Blumenthal back in May after he, Dukes, had published a book about the assassination of JFK. Dukes telling me at the time he was enthralled by Kennedy and felt, quote, scared and scarred by the dark hours in American history that followed his death. They assassinated Malcolm X, then Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King, and then Robert F. Kennedy. So it was like a five-year span where, like, evil was just prevalent. We're losing so many young people. So much evil in our community. It's a disease of the heart. Longtime family friends Tony Barr and Don Spearman said losing Dukes at 48 is a cruel twist of fate, since Dukes himself worked so hard through his activism to make the city safe for all families. We work together to try and stop, bring families together, bring children together and stop this violence. New York City police say the driver of the Range Rover fled on foot after the crash, but what led up to the fatal shooting is still under investigation. Dukes himself was proud to be a returning citizen, whom I interviewed on many occasions about the way he had turned his life around after prison and devoted himself to helping young people stay off the street. It's hard to believe this guy who we knew and loved is gone. Yes, it is. Yes, it, is. It, just, it, just, it just hurts, man. The community Dukes came from rocked today by his murder. Yeah, that's our family. His loved ones pointing out the tragic irony that Dukes, who wrote a book about a president fatally shot in the head in the backseat of a car, should himself end up dying the same way. He is our hero, and we love him dearly, and he will be missed. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut. And New York City police asking for the public's help solving this murder. If you can help, we have details at news12.com.